Hi, welcome to Shelly Studio, and today I figured I would work on this page that has piles of paint on it. Um, I was just showing you there the iridescent stenciling that is kind of hard to see, so I thought I'd show it. Um, and I just wanted to play another, you know, crazy, messy, abstract sort of painting. <laughs> um, this background, the blue and the red, is from leftover paint from a project gosh, back when Beauty and the Beast came out in the movies. Um, I did uh, the rose. Um, if I remember, I will put a link in the description below so you can see where that came from. And then just random stuff after that went on top. I have a few of these that I thought it was about time I got them covered up with something. And this one still, even after it's done, I'm like, I'm not sure, is it done? Anyway, I love all the layers of stuff um, when they're done. It's just so interesting, especially the close-ups of all the texture. So I have a lot of fun creating them, even though there's almost no point to them. <laughs> <laughs> Except for they're fun to create. Um, now this is Americana Writer and I've had them for quite a while and the paint has gotten a little thick and it's constantly getting stuck. And um, the white one works a little bit better than the black one, you'll see. I use them both. And I just decided to turn these little circles into some sort of flower, of course. When in doubt, make flowers or butterflies. <laughs> See, more struggling with the uh, white there. All right. So now it's not dry because those things take forever to dry. I just decided I wanted to put some black on here, make it more interesting. So I'm just adding some really wiggly sort of lines up along the stems and then going around the flowers and the leaves. But it is a really messy sort of piece. I can't say painting. Art. <laughs> Art journal page. So now I did leave that overnight to dry completely um, so that I could add more paint. And this is a fluorescent yellow. I think it's Gina Aaron's that says everything needs a spark of that fluorescence color. <laughs> so I was taking her and uh, adding some fluorescent yellow. And it does help a little bit. Trying to wipe it off of the writer pen, the white and the black. Okay, so I decided the background was like super, super busy. So I thought I would shade and I was thinking I would just shade one side of um, these flowers so that um, so that they would stand out more and push the background into the background. And this page has so much texture to it that, that is like really rough on the finger to rub it like that. <laughs> but it just helps blend it in a little bit, I think. I don't know.
So I think it helps a little. What do you think? Helps those flower shapes stand out a little bit more. I don't know why, I just keep adding, thinking it's going to make it better. I decide those flowers need something more, and since I have the blackout, we're just gonna put spots on the out on the centers of those. Then I decide add more marks to the page in the form of dots I think I need some mark making tools so that I get more than my fingerprint or a circle <laughs> Or sort of square if I use a flat brush. I don't know, I've made stamps out of the back of pencil erasers. I could do a few of those. That would be kind of fun. Maybe on my next crazy project I'll do that. Dots with the back of a paintbrush are kind of tedious. So you have to go back every couple or they fade to nothing. Alright, so I felt there was a lot of dark and not a lot of light and I hardly ever used my buff, Titan buff, so I thought I would lighten the other side of each of the flowers with the titanium buff. I think I get a little carried away with the Titan buff here on this side, but then in the end it's not too bad, I don't think. I don't go too crazy elsewhere. But it's all fun. The more layers, the more interesting 
appreciate it. I mean, you might lose something you put on there way down below, but a lot of times, at least with this one, you can see all the layers. Which makes it really interesting to look at close up. And I have a few pictures at the end where you can see some close up details. And I don't know if I lost footage or didn't record, but I do put a quote on it um, and it's almost impossible to read. It took me a minute to remember it and look it up, but um, I just made it up. I put, just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a pretty flower. <laughs> But I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.